Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're working with the soul cards and we have three options here. We have Honey Calcite, we have some Amethyst and we have Green Calcite here. So uh, please go ahead, make your selection and I'm going to go ahead and begin with the first option here. So the question we're asking in our Oracle guidance is what is it that we need to know at present and what is our guidance as we go ahead in this time? Okay, this feels right. So I usually read these cards upright. There is obviously a message for the upright version as well as for the reversed, but um, I'm channeling a message for you and that message will be the message that you need to hear usually. And if it doesn't resonate with you, of course, um, then it's not for you. So here, it feels to me like there's two parts of you uh, which are being torn in different directions. So there's a part of you that wants to go in one direction and there's a part of you that's stubbornly holding back and looking in another direction, this could impact you in different ways. It doesn't matter how it comes to you and it doesn't matter which direction you want to go in or why you want to go in that direction. But rather what is important for you to hear here is that if you continue to stay in this way, you are actually not going to be helping yourself. You're actually going to be holding yourself back and you're going to be uh, keeping yourself in the same position. You're not going to be able to make progress in any direction. Now that might seem quite obvious, but it's something that I feel that you're not able to see right now. And this is why this has come up as, as um, a message for, for today. So the other thing I, I'm hearing here is that one of the ways in which this can manifest itself is that part of you is still looking into the past. Part of you is still hanging on to the past. So it might be that you've experienced certain traumas or certain difficulties in the past in which, which you are still hanging on to, which you are unable to let go of, not because you want to hang on to it, but because you haven't been able to heal through it or work through it and let go of it. And there's still a purpose that it is there in your life. And so it's holding you back from moving forward, but there's an, an eagerness or an urgency that you have that's um, it's pulling you in another direction. So it's almost like you are being forced to go, you have this momentum in you which wants to go in one direction, but there's something here that is saying, well, you know, that's not the way to go. Uh, the way to go is actually like, let's stay here because we need to protect ourselves or let's not, let's you know, be more hesitant here because we don't know of what's going to happen. So it might be in some of your, your situations that you actually need to make a decision at this time that you are uh, torn between leaving a certain place and going to another place or you are torn between um, one part of yourself and one of your goals versus another goal or versus another passion that you may have. And you are trying to find what is right for you in this time. And it's almost like you don't really know what's right. You just know what's driving you and you know, well, you know what you need, but that's almost like a conservative estimate and you're not willing to to heed the conservative uh, guidance that you, or caution that you, uh, you have within you. So it's like your passion is overriding that and it's almost like you don't even have a choice but to, but to uh, go on. And so it feels to me like you're in this dilemma right now that there is this, this kind of dilemma that you have and while while it might be that um uh, there's a lot of goodness that can come out of this uh these this kind of thinking or or what you're going through right now it also feels to me like there's a lot of difficulty that's coming to the surface there's some insecurities that are coming to the surface there's some self-doubt that's surfacing as well there's like uh, apprehension that's also surfacing and it's almost like you you're struggling to to make this decision so I feel like also this message is not going to resonate with every single one of you but uh, for some of you it's definitely there for others of you uh, it's not like you need to make a decision but simply that you are being torn in different directions right now and it's difficult for you to maintain some kind of uh, calm and focus to be able to give yourself what you need. It also feels like during this time there could be many different aspects of you which you feel, many different emotions that you feel and uh, facets of yourself that you come into into 
to being with. So it's like you are uncovering or discovering some things about yourself which was there all along, but you weren't able to to um, to to really recognize this or appreciate that, or even didn't even have the chance or the time to be able to appreciate that. And now you have the space and the time to be able to appreciate these different facets that you have or different um, kind of um, parts of your personality that are coming to the fore. It also feels here that um, that you're changing in this time. So if those the messages or everything that I've said until now doesn't resonate, then there's something else here as well. It it feels like there's this huge change, this is growth that's taking place as well in your life. So there's one message here that says you're not able to forge on because you are you are being stuck because you are still focusing in the past. And there's another message here in which this, this card is, is telling me that it's like you're making progress right now and it's like there's a part of you that's inching forward. So there's this, like if this is you here, then um, you are inching forward at this moment and you're just kind of moving in that direction and you are, are actually... Um, making headway now moving forward is a very limited way in which to talk about this because if you know true growth actually is it's like um moving in in circles like you go around you know and you you access and understand all the information that you are and you move ahead like that you know like almost like spirals but here there's this um there's so when i talk about moving forward i don't necessarily mean that you're just going to move ahead and everything's going to be happy and, and go in one direction only and that things are going to just be positive necessarily. What's, what what this talks about is also making headway in a way that uh, that goes backward and goes in a way that uh, like sometimes you don't really feel like you're making headway. Sometimes it just feels like you're going ahead and you're not really sure of where you're headed to. And sometimes it feels like you're going backwards and you're not really really sure of anything right now so i just want to apologize right now for any sounds that you may be hearing uh here that might actually be uh, annoying you or uh or distracting you and um i know that there are several different sounds in the background right now but i'm not able to control any any of that um but i want to continue with this with this reading so one of the other things I'm hearing here is that it's a very important time to maintain self-love and to be able to understand and love yourself unconditionally. It's a very important time now in order to judge yourself, not to be too critical uh, of yourself because the kind of growth that you are undergoing right now is um, it requires you to to understand parts of yourself which are not always positive or not always happy or not always um, good. You know, so some aspects of yourself which you may be discovering or having to come to terms with, which are more of your shadow aspects or things about you that you're not really proud of. And it's so important right now not to, to judge yourself as you go through this process because you are just going to be, if you're doing that, you're just beating yourself up and you're not really giving yourself the space or holding the space for you to make the growth or, or to make that forward movement or to make that, um, uh, allow that development and that growth to take place here. So uh, if you're feeling like almost like um, like you're disassociating with aspects of yourself during this time, then understand that this is a feeling that's going to pass. It's something that's just taking place right now and it's going to uh, pass in the next week or so. And I feel also that if you feel a like, torn about something, if you if you need to make a decision or you're feeling torn in any way, uh, what, what they're saying is that don't focus on that. Uh, focus on how it makes you feel. Because the answer that you need is going to come from how you feel. So you might be torn about making a decision or going in one direction or the other direction. And uh, what what they're saying is, well, don't try to figure it out intellectually or don't try to figure it out by thinking about it because you're going to need to figure it out by feeling it out. And it's going to need to like look at the emotions that are coming up and Maybe you don't need an answer right now. Maybe what's important right now is just to focus on what's coming up for you because maybe that is what where the where the change really needs to take place. And, you know, it's like if, if I'm looking at these cards right now, it's like this is the decision and this is one option and this is the other option. And what and these are all the emotions here. So they, the message I'm getting for you is that 
it's important to look at all these other emotions because the answer is in these is in what comes up for you and why it's coming up for you and when you are able to understand these emotions and why these things come up for you here then you'll be able to really make the growth or really make the change that needs to to take place right now and so even though you may be thinking that this decision is integral it's the most important thing that you need to do right now or if um or there's something that's in you that's that's you know feeling like you're being torn apart so for some of you it's not a decision it might be like you just you know wanting to maybe go out but you're stuck in or it's like this dissonance inside of you and uh you might be thinking that that's the most important thing but that's actually not the most important thing here what's important to look at is the emotions that are coming up because when you are able to recognize that and you you're able to understand yourself better and with that comes the ability to move beyond something it's it's like this moving beyond a certain paradigm of thought that you've occupied or that you've used for a long time and developing a new one or looking at things from a different perspective or looking at things from a bird's eye perspective and looking at things from outside of yourself and understanding why that's that's happening so there are so many different messages here in this in this reading and i feel like for all of you who've chosen the first option it's just got a very very different feeling uh for you and um for some of you, it's about this decision. For some others of you, it's simply a restlessness that you're experiencing. And uh, it gives you the space simply to discover things about yourself that need to be worked through or need to be understood or need to be heard. It's like this is part of you, these emotions in you that need to be heard. And um, the, the it's like the, the different uh, strands of this emotion or the different um, strokes of the brush strokes of this these emotions are what uh, is more important to be understood at this moment so um i hope this message has helped you and i hope that it actually resonates and that it um it it does assist you as you go along in this week um as as you go along ahead i feel also like this really restless energy like this very uncertain energy or this this kind of um angst like this angst kind of energy here it feels also like for some of you it might be calm and it might be fine and you just kind of torn apart by some things but for others of you it's a very angsty energy it's like oh you know you're just kind of grappling and and nervous and and finding it difficult to 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 contain yourself and feeling a bit all over the place and feeling like um like it's just something that um you can't contain anymore and just feeling a bit overwhelmed by it all and if you do get to feel that way towards the end of the week or um yeah in a few days from now then or even right now then just just don't do anything just allow this energy to to have its space to to speak its mind so to say and to, to take that space that it needs and just surrender to it and allow yourself to um to to, to to just um, go with flow and wait until it passes before you can actually be okay. So don't don't freak out. Or don't get more anxious because you're feeling this way. Don't let it uh, impact you or control you in that way. Don't let it be uh, the thing that actually drags you along. Uh, you can, by surrendering to it, sorry, I've just shaken the tripod, by sur surrendering to it, you can actually have a bit more space to deal with this that's going on. So yes, I hope that that's resonated with you. That's your reading for those of you who've chosen the option number one. And I hope that it helps you as you go along. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is it that you need to know right now? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay, so it feels like this one here for you. So before I go on, I just want to apologize for any sounds that may annoy you or irritate you in the background. I am um, I don't have another time to actually be able to shoot this video, so I'm doing it now. And I know it's, there's a lot of um, different sounds coming out from different places right now, especially people quite busy around here. And uh, yeah, and I do apologize for that. So here we have something that's within you that needs to actually be considered or be... Uh, taken into account well, there's something in you that needs to be developed or to be nurtured and to be 
to be given birth to, but it's not ready to to come out right now. It's not ready for you to express yourself. So if you're a creative person and if you actually have the desire to to bring something out in the world, whether it's publishing a book or whether it's um you know, having a certain piece of music that you are publishing or um, making a film or, you know, bringing out a certain painting. It's kind of saying to you, it's okay if right now things are not moving in the way that you want it to or that it's not ready as yet. If there's a, a dissertation that you need to bring out or um, some research that needs to take place, whatever it is, if you are supposed to be studying right now or supposed to be doing something right now and you're not doing it, it's okay, all right? Uh, that's the first message here, that it's okay if it's not moving as it should be. It's okay if it's not on schedule because everything is still working as it should and it's going according to plan. Everything is fine as it is. It feels here that there's a lot of multitasking taking place. Like there's a lot of things that you have going on. So you might have different areas of your life and which are kind of pulling you in, in different directions. And it feels like, like three pronoun predominant areas of your life where you're being drawn you know in different directions and you don't know whether to go in which way in which way you just don't really know right now and um for some of you that is for for others of you you're quite still in you and you're actually feeling like you know exactly what you need to do and you're in control of the situation but you are wondering as well how long is this going to go on for or how much longer is this going to take and it's almost like this part of you that knows that this is going to take long and you know that it's going to be um some time before you can actually um get, reap the fruits of your labor but still there's this thing about time there's this thing about measuring time or or noting that what you are working on or what you are busy with or what it is that you need to give birth to in the world whether it's um it's a child or whether it's a project or anything creative or anything that's you know whatever it is a paper that you need to write a, a dissertation or a project whatever it is there's a right time for it and that time is not not now and there's this almost like um like the universe or the spirit world is acknowledging you in your uh in your knowing that you, you know this is going to take longer they're acknowledging your patience they're acknowledging that it's that you're uh, that this is going to take longer if there's a question that you're asking which is you know, like how long is this going to take me or what's going to go on here or can I do this now or should I do this now? Well, the answer here is that it's going to take longer. It's going to take longer. It's going to happen later. It's okay. The one thing that you need to know is that it's all happening as it should. It needs to happen this way. It needs to take time. It needs time to develop, to mature, to actually come to the, to, to the right space. There's another feeling here another message completely which is actually talking about taking yourself inward and working with yourself and working with different aspects of yourself so in the first part of this message I said that you know you might be torn between three different parts of you but now the other message here is that there's like three parts of you which you can actually work with and which needs to be brought into balance by itself and it's something that doesn't have anything to do with other people but rather it's something that you can bring into balance by yourself so it's like it's almost like um uh you know the holy trinity in a way it's there's three different parts of you that if you bring that into balance and however you it fits each other whatever the picture is whatever unique way in which you bring that balance about you in yourself is actually what is indicated right now it's indicated that you take this time off to be able to do that it's indicated that you work with that stillness in you and you work with that peace in you and you work with that part of you that needs to have um um like it's almost like a meditative experience it's almost like uh, this part of you that needs to go inward and that works with oneself it works with healing is this part of you that works with a uh, knowingness and healing and and being able to access wisdom from the divine or uh, working on on a way it doesn't feel like accessing intuition 
or bringing in information from outside of you, but it feels like you're in a capsule, like an enclosed space in which you are able to access wisdom from within you and your own truth and knowing your own truth and respecting that and coming into harmony with oneself and actually allowing oneself to to understand and heal oneself through going inward right now. So this is very much a card that talks and indicates going inward, working with oneself, working inside of you, not necessarily working with people. And I actually uh, have an energy forecast, which I have uh, shot, which will be uploaded around the same time as, as this video, in which I talked about the energy at this time and how that actually is important for going inward and working with oneself. And I highly recommend you listen to that because to understand what I'm really trying to say here in, in this card, it's about going inward and working with, with that part of you which is inward and finding that power which is inside of you but it's more this feels less like about a, a, a power energy or bringing energy through you or working on in energy that is um that needs to be released or anything like this this feels more like sitting still and waiting for the right moment it feels like understanding and knowing when is the right moment and not being torn in a different direction not allowing yourself to to be uh, pulled or pushed in any way because of outside influences this is something where you are encapsulated you in yourself and you know what is right and you know that now is not the right time for you to do this now is is it, if you make this move right now it's almost like an immature time to do this and I don't know why it's like um the, in the previous reading, it was almost as well this feeling like having to make a decision, having to do something. And I don't feel like this is an overriding energy here. But I think for one or two of you, uh, they may if there's a decision to be made or if there's a move that you want to do right now is not the right time. You need to wait this one out. You need to wait until this year comes to fruition. This year is ripe or this year is ready to be released because this year is still in its very early um, stages. So it's almost like this is a, a, if this is a pregnancy and this is a baby, uh, then this is like, it's not, you know, it, it, it hasn't reached its full term. It's not ready to be birthed yet. It's almost like it's in its first trimester and there's still like the second and the third trimester to go through and you still need to actually work through that and, um, and, and be there. And actually, it's not so much about working through it. It's simply about being there. It's about just being where you're supposed to be right now. And and doing that in a way that you are not losing energy or leaking energy to others or losing yourself along the way. It's about being able to do it in a, or understand what it is that you, you need to give yourself right now and accepting that and surrendering to that and somehow that really feels like the the first reading as well a little bit and not completely yeah i, I think uh, if you are if you're feeling here that this message is incomplete then then please uh look at the first option and if you're feeling that you also need some more here um then then take a look at the energy forecast that i mentioned uh um earlier in this reading. I hope this message has helped you. I hope that it actually uh, assists you as you go along in this week. And I think the most important thing to think about here is that everything that you need is within you right now. Stay within yourself and give yourself what it is that you need and 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 recognize the 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 wisdom that you already have and listen further to the wisdom that's coming to you. And also is a wait until the time is right. Now it's not the right time. Okay, so that's your reading for this week. I hope it's helped you. Um, and I send you much love and many blessings as you go along. For those of you who've chosen the third option here, be asking, what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? What is it that we need to go know as we go along in this week? Oops, that card is really keen on coming out. Okay, so this card talks to me about um, various different influences right now. So for some of you right now, you may be feeling things that come from other worlds. It might be like like you are um, experiencing some kind of communication from extraterrestrials or or what you may think are extraterrestrials, or there is a blurring of energy. There's a blurring of understanding. There's an, a feeling of 
of um, exploring other worlds. There's a feeling, there's also this, it doesn't feel so much like astral travel. It feels more like this energy comes to you. So instead of uh, going on a journey, that this energy arrives to at you. There's also a sense here that it might be like ancestral energy or uh, people who have passed on who are in your life right now and are actually uh, there at your side. You might have felt that in this last week and it might be that you feel that as you go along or there's this feeling here that you need to be aware of that. There's also a feeling that you need to be cautious as you feel, if you feel in these energies and if you are actually uh, working with this energy in any way. There's a, there's a need to uh, use caution. There's a need to understand what this energy is really about because one of the things that I'm hearing here is that it's it's disguising itself as something that it's not and that is something that you need to be aware of, okay? For others of you, this message here talks about a kind of um, feeling of being unsettled right now. It's about weathering a storm. It's about not being able to feel as settled as one needs to feel and about accepting that. So it's almost like you are in this in this boat and there's a storm out at sea and the waves are rough and you are in this boat and you are therefore not able to feel the, the quietness or the solitude that you need to actually experience right now because of this boat that's rocking and the influences, the, how it's being influenced by the rough seas. And the seas are rough because of a storm that's taking place. So there's this, it's like, it's not directly you that's having this, um, this unsettled feeling or this feeling of not being able to calm yourself or experience calm at this moment, but rather that there is this, it's, it's a lot of different things that are piling up and and knocking at you and there's nothing really that you can actually do right now but bear with this or just breathe through it and and surrender to it and and just cope with it and that and you have to understand that this energy will also pass so it's not always going to be like this it's going to definitely pass and I feel like for a lot of you if you from the day in which you're hearing this this energy would have passed within six days for you okay so that might feel like a long time and it might feel like, you know, things are, it's too long for, for things to be so blurry or to be uncertain, but it's almost as if you need to like wait out these days in order for things to feel different for you. Now, there's also a sense here that, um, uh, that a lot of things are coming to the surface which are very hard for you to work through. It's almost like this murkiness or this thing that is hard for you to see through. And if you do experience that during this week, I feel like not all of you will experience that, but maybe like 10% of those of you who choose this option will experience that. And I feel that this is not something that uh, you will need to be too concerned with, but something that you just have to observe and let it pass, okay? You don't need to work too much with this, or you don't need to worry too much about it. You don't need to kind of let it bog you down, or let it bring you down, or make you make you uncertain about something, or make you doubt yourself, or, or worry at all, because it's just something that's happening right now. It's an energy that's passing through. It's bringing out certain things, and it's going to pass, and it's going to be okay. The other thing here is that uh, if you're feeling uh, misunderstood or attacked or uh, like, you know, things are like somebody is not really understanding you or like you're just not um, like somebody's hurting you in some way or it, it might be that, you know, you feel attacked. You feel like somebody's putting a knife through you. You feel like like um, something is coming at you and it's not really that person or, or one particular person but it feels like an institution is putting a knife through you or you're not really sure about it and it feels like it's it's sucking out your energy and you don't know how else to deal with this right now and you don't know if you can actually deal with this right now and it feels like it's taking the best of you and for some okay so this is like such a specific message so it, it's definitely not going to resonate with every single one of you but for some of you it feels like it's taking like it's sucking the bulk of you and there's very little left and you don't know what's actually going to come of, of this whole situation you don't know where you can land up afterward well I want to say that for those of you who are feeling that way just let it be let it be just once again just let this energy be 
and it's going to pass in a few days. It's going to pass in for some of you within six days, for some of you a little bit longer. And don't worry that it's it's not going to ruin you. It's not going to take everything that you've got. It's not going to destroy you. It's going to be, you're going to find that there's something, a lighter part of you that there is that comes to the fore after this, after you've gone through this experience and after you've, you've come out of this whole thing. I want to say that if you feel the need to protect yourself during this time, then please do so. If you feel the need to actually retreat or, or turn around and look the other way right now because you need to protect yourself in this process, then please do that. It's I'm not saying that every one of you need to like heed um, this call for protection, but rather that you, if you feel that it resonates with you, that you need to turn around and look the other way or that you need to protect yourself, then go ahead and take those measures and do that. And you, you may use some stones or some kind of ritual or do some kind of... Um, some kind of ceremony to actually help protect you in this in this time. I feel here that uh, there's something else here. It's almost like um, this is this is other energy here where you know you you're feeling hurt by something, okay, and you're feeling um, like it's almost piercing you, but it, it's coming from somebody who doesn't mean any harm or doesn't. Um, intend any harm it's coming from a pure source so there's this other feeling here that you know you're experiencing something on such a profound level and it's it's going through you and it's like almost hurting you it's going right through you like a knife or a sword that's going right through you but that person or that place that it's coming from it doesn't intend any harm to you and it actually has completely divine intentions or or, or pure intentions and intentions of love and healing that's coming your way so i feel like if you are feeling like somebody's reaching inside of you and like twisting you or pulling a knife through you then take a moment to to recognize that it's coming not from um a source that's necessarily um bad or it's got, it can be coming from a source that is um that's pure. So I know that what I've said now is in conflict with another message that I, I mentioned a few minutes ago. And so these things are going to resonate for you differently. And I feel like in all the readings uh, today, that there are so many different messages that are coming through and they resonate with very, very differently for people. And sometimes I find that the meanings can be quite harmonious and they are appealing to many people. But yeah, I feel like, I feel like there's just like one sentence that may be appealing to you, one sentence that you resonate with and nothing else. So this message is very, these messages are very diverse and you might be feeling like, oh, well, that doesn't resonate, but this resonates or oh, that doesn't make sense. And you've just said the opposite right now. So just bear with me because I'm putting out everything that I feel when I see these cards and when I and I'm getting and it can be for it. You know, not every single message is going to resonate with all of you. Now, the last thing I'm seeing here, which I want to mention, is that there could be a um uh, a part of you which is almost attacking yourself it could be a part of you which has come out of yourself and is almost attacking you so it's almost like you know you are judging yourself you're hurting yourself you are being too hard on yourself and you're uh, attacking yourself for not doing what you should have done or, or kicking yourself for for not making the right decisions or not doing what you should have done or not using the time that you have done you could have used in a more efficient manner or something something to that effect okay so you're hurting yourself or you you you're berating yourself for something that you could have done that you didn't do i want to say in this situation here there was still time to do that there's still time for some things to be done here and so don't be so quick to be harsh um with yourself um, take some time to actually give yourself what you need to in this moment because this is what you need right now you need to give yourself that love that attention that that um that unconditional love and attacking yourself for something that you didn't do it's not going to help you right now because there's still a window here in which you can do things there's still a window in which you can put across that proposal or or submit that project or uh, write that paper or do something that needs to be done that needs to be put out there so stop giving yourself a hard time because it's not working or it's not coming uh, across or it's not like or something is not supposed to it's not happening in the way it should be as one last message here if you are having difficulty putting something through or submitting a project or putting or uploading something or giving something through then go back and review it 
because there's something in there that needs to be removed or something in there that's missing or something in there that's not right and it needs to be adjusted before you do that so go ahead and and do that and and then you're going to find that it all works out fine for you okay so this messages were like all over the place today and i don't know if that's helped you at all uh you know, do let me know how's, how it's going with you and how you guys are finding the lockdowns and the, the self-isolation and um, the social distancing. I'm curious to hear from you and how you all are doing. Send me, uh, let me know how you guys are. And I really hope that these messages have helped you and that they ha- they really do feel like it's been all over the place. So I apologize if, um, if it hasn't resonated with you this week and perhaps uh, it does uh, at another time. I send you a lot of love and please stay safe stay healthy and blessings abound from kismet rising